Welcome back viewers! Building a wider frame for skinny guys in 3 easy steps Are you a skinny guy having a hard time with adding size to your chest? Or have you labeled yourself as a hard gainer? You might be hitting every chest exercise in your program as hard as you can, but you may not be getting enough muscle fiber activation to spark a lot of growth. Since conventional training isn't enough, in today's video we will be helping you achieve a wider frame with three easy steps, like a dumbbell chest fly. Continue watching this video for more. Number 1. Dumbbell Chest Fly The dumbbell chest fly is an exercise that allows you to hone in on squeezing the pecs. It can help to kickstart muscle growth rather than centering the brute strength that so often becomes the main objective of the bench press. Using an implement like dumbbells allows you to work through a wide range of motion, but you do need to work to control each rep to make sure that you don't put yourself in danger of injury. Check your ego before you get to the bench and make sure to grab a weight that you can work with safely. Here's how to do it. Squeeze at the top. The real benefit and magic of the dumbbell fly happens not when your arms are at their widest, but when you bring your arms together. It's here that you get the chance to squeeze your pectoral fibers and promote chest growth. Focus on the squeeze, thinking of lingering at the top for a good one second to get the most out of the fly. Avoid touching the dumbbells at the top too. Touching the dumbbells removes the chance to squeeze your pecs. Just as importantly, if you're driving the dumbbells up so quickly that they're clanking together, you're doing the motion without the precision and control required to get that chest squeeze. Take your time with each rep. Never lower too deep. The magic of the fly occurs at the top of the movement, not the bottom. So don't try too hard to overstretch your pecs by lowering your shoulders extra deep. Your goal should be to get your upper arms parallel with the ground, but don't worry about going too deep on them. This isn't an exercise for flexibility. You're using the movement to build size, strength, and definition. And not every person has a perfect shoulder range of motion, especially if you work a desk job. So lower the dumbbells only until you feel a slight stretch in your chest. If you feel this in your shoulders or biceps, you're overstretching. A good starting point is to think about lowering until your upper arms are parallel with the ground or just a few degrees deeper. Never stop squeezing your shoulder blades. Start each set of dumbbell flies by driving your shoulder blades into the bench and think about squeezing them as you lower the weights. This will help protect your shoulders. As you begin to fly up though, continue to squeeze your shoulder blades together. This does two things. First off, it will help you protect your shoulders. It's really easy to compromise joint space in the shoulder as you fly up, giving your rotator cuff tendons less space to move. By squeezing your shoulder blades, you help maintain that. Even better, if you continue to squeeze your shoulder blades together when you finish the dumbbell fly, you challenge your chest to really squeeze at the top of each rep. The difference is subtle. If you release your shoulder blades, you can essentially bring the entire shoulder complex along for the ride at the top of the rep. But if you keep squeezing hard on that rhomboid, it forces your shoulder blades to stay tight and keeps your shoulders down. That means the finishing squeeze on the dumbbell fly winds up purely from a pectoral contraction. Even if this feels like it cuts your range of motion, it's not actually doing so. It's simply forcing your pecs to fully work through their natural range instead of pointlessly overextending the movement. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Number 2. Plate Press The plate pinch press is a chest accessory movement that is used in muscle building training phases. Rather than lifting a lot of weight, the goal of the plate pinch press is to feel a deep chest burn, specifically with your inner pec muscles. This will aid in building around a full looking chest. Here's how to do it. Grab 2-3 to three plates and squeeze them together with your palms. Most people start by using two 10-pound plates and squeezing them together with their palms. However, the more plates you add, the harder the movement will be. For example, squeezing three 5-pound plates is harder than squeezing two 10-pound plates. Even though squeezing three 5-pound plates is less weight comparatively, you'll need to squeeze the three plates harder together to prevent one of the plates from slipping. Bring the plates to the middle of your chest. The plates should be brought to the middle of your chest with your fingertips pointing away from the body. 
you should feel like you're pressing your palms together against the plates as hard as possible. Retract your shoulder blades and keep your chest up. Before starting, ensure your shoulder blades are retracted and that your upper back is not hunched over. You want to keep your chest up as it will be much easier to isolate your chest and avoid using your lats or shoulders. Extend your arms forward and slightly upward. Just before extending your arms forward, ensure you are squeezing your hands together against the plates as strong as you can. You should already feel your chest working quite hard before starting. Once ready, use a controlled tempo to push your arms up and forward. If the plates start at chest level, you should be pressing your arms so that when extended, they are at face level. It will be much easier to extend your arms forward and slightly down. You want to avoid doing this because you won't be using your chest muscles as much. Contract your chest as hard as possible. At every stage of the movement, you should be squeezing the plates as hard as possible. There is no point within the movement where you should be relaxing or taking a break. Also, make sure your core is tight as you're extending your arms because that way, it will be harder to arch your back when you fatigue. At all times, you want to maintain a neutral spine. Reverse your arms in the same movement pattern. Once your arms have fully extended, you can begin to return the plates to the start position. Try to mimic the same movement pattern without dropping your arms too low. When you reverse your arms, you want to continue to think about contracting your chest without losing tension on your muscles. Number three, dumbbell chest press. It should go without saying that you will probably have to use lighter weight when doing the dumbbell chest press as the third movement of this tricep. So don't get discouraged if you have to drop down 20 pounds lighter than normal. Here's how to do it. Lie on a flat bench with your feet pressing into the floor. Draw your shoulders down and back to press them into the bench. Hold two dumbbells with palms facing forward and your thumbs wrapped around the handle. On an inhale, lower the dumbbells slightly wider than your mid-chest, slowly and with control. Gently touch the dumbbells to your chest. On an exhale, press your arms upwards, keeping your elbows slightly bent. Position the dumbbells just below eye level. Do two to three sets of eight to 15 repetitions. These workouts are pretty easy, isn't it? Let us know what you want to know more about in the comments section. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.